I feel like I haven't done like a skincare video, like a legit skincare video on YouTube in a while. So let me know what y'all want to see. Cause I was thinking like a how to really remove your makeup type of situation. You basically said yes. So here I am showing you how I properly remove all of my makeup. I've been wearing this makeup for a full day and I've been wearing a mask, so it's <laughs> time to go. I'm gonna start with my lashes. I like using a micellar cleansing water with some Q-tips in order to properly remove my lashes easily without any damage to my lash both natural and the fake ones we spend twenty dollars for these lashes so i want to make sure that i'm removing them so i can reuse them so i'm not tugging i'm basically letting the micellar water dissolve that glue and it just easily pops off so now that i look like a naked mole rat you can see i'm already getting makeup off i'm gonna go in and you can see that little bit of glue that i have left i didn't wear eyeliner today but this is a great way to also remove your eyeliner I'm just gently rubbing more of that micellar water right along the lash line and then I'm going to use my microfiber towel with that same micro micellar cleansing water this is my favorite way as my first step to get rid of makeup I am NOT a makeup wipes girl especially because I do deal with fungal acne I find that this way is not only better for my skin I don't really tug I take my time you see I'm pressing first and then removing the makeup I'm not rubbing back and forth like you would typically do with a makeup wipe so this is very gentle and I'm still getting rid of that makeup okay I prefer this way I find it to be more economical as well and a little bit better for the environment because I'm not tossing so many makeup wipes I do think that I could have been even more gentle on my skin than I am in this video. So I just want you to take your time, go through and use that micellar water to really break down that makeup. Go and do your hairline and underneath your chin and your neck. Do not forget your hairline. A lot of people forget that, you know, we put makeup in that area and so they don't properly remove the makeup there too. If you do not, you can also break out along your hairline, especially if you're like me and you deal with fungal acne. I want you to make sure that you're also washing that makeup out of your hairline. And also around your nose, like those crevices right around your nose love to hide makeup, so make sure you get that too. Now this Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser is my favorite cleanser when it is time for me to rem remove makeup. It just does a phenomenal job of getting rid of any makeup that is left. Just because you cannot see the makeup on my face anymore doesn't mean that it still exists, cause it does. Especially you have to remember your skin is an organ, so it's going to absorb anything that you put on top of it, including foundation, concealer, powder, all of that things settle into our skin. And this cleanser really does a great job of making sure that our pores are free and clear, but yet it's very gentle and it's fungal acne safe. I have been talking about this cleanser for basically since my channel has existed. I still stand by it. I love to travel with this cleanser because I know without a shadow of a doubt, it can handle anything that I throw at it, okay? Even waterproof mascara, okay? So now we're going to rinse that off now that I've spent about 60 seconds washing my face and just look how clean my skin is. Now I'm gonna go in with my April Skin Artissima Rice Essence Toner, and I'm gonna apply this to a cotton swab. Now this video is in sponsorship with April Skin, so shout out to April Skin for sponsoring this portion of the video. I like to follow up with a hydrating toner, and this is exactly what this is, hydration. Because it has so many different levels of hyaluronic acid, it is going to be a treat for us after we have really deep cleansed our face, right? We went in with a double cleanse. I like to follow up with a hydrating toner. 
And as you saw, my little cotton swab is free of makeup. So we know at this point that there is no more makeup on my face, in my hairline, around my nose. I am clean. A lot of people like to do this with like a witch hazel. I find that to be too drying for me. So I prefer to use my Artisma Rice Essence Toner from April Skin. Like I said, ain't no makeup left on my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the Keratin Clarifying Vita Pads. I started using this underneath my arms. I showed you guys that in a video a couple months ago and it really got rid of the blemishes underneath my arms, like on my armpits. So I started using it on my face. Now this is not fungal acne safe, but because of the beta carotene complex, girl, I had to put it on my face. It gets rid of blemishes like nothing else that I've tried that is not a tretinoin or another like retinoid. It's such a good um, companion, especially when you use it with different, which you all know I use every two to three nights. It just look, it makes your face look so even and so clear. And I think it helps with skin cell turnover. And that's why I'm not really seeing a fungal acne flare up. So definitely run over to April Skin. I'm gonna leave everything down in the description box for you, but trust me on this, pick these up and thank me later. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my Rejuvenate Serum for Nola Skin Essentials. This is Bay. she will always be Bay. I always call her Pregnancy Glow Without the Pregnancy because she keeps my face looking so nice, so fresh, so even, and most importantly for me, as a dry skin bay, she keeps me glowing. And of course, because I need to top off with hydration, I am going to use my Clinique Moisture Surge 100 hour outer replenishing hydrator. I have been telling y'all about this since I picked it up during the summer and girl, it still goes. I just bought three of the largest size that they have. I think it's about five ounces. I bought three of them during the sale because I can't be without it anymore. It just keeps my face so hydrated and locks in moisture long term i'm completely in love you have to try this and because it's winter i'm going to lock it in with a little bit of squalene oil just a couple of drops might have went overboard for you but <laughs> this is going to help continue that nourishing continue locking in all of those good ingredients that we just put on our face really keep me hydrated long term it is winter i do have my heat on this is going to keep me completely locked in long term so that when I wake up tomorrow, your good sis is still going to be glowing. I hope that this was helpful for you. I definitely help you get rid of all of your makeup for real. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, sis.